iPhone, rage. 60 frames per second. <laughs> hey, can I get the video up here in the center so I can drive? <laughs> Okay, so I, I had actually thought, I had figured out most technically of how I wanted to do this uh, a little over a year ago when we were talking about doing something on the Wii. Uh, but when I set out to, uh, to go ahead, it just went really fairly smoothly. And here we have really all of the mega texture goodness that we're used to in Rage. And in many ways, this is incredibly cool on an iPad where the touch moving it around and looking at it I did some fairly clever things to approximate subpixel precision on the movement, and the visceral feel of just kind of dragging the thing around uh, is very, very neat. And this is running on an iPhone 4 where I did wind up cranking up a few things to go ahead and run on the big screen here, but it runs great actually on an original 2G iPhone. Uh, in fact, compared to our other titles on here, this will be running at a similar or better frame rate to Doom Classic, significantly better than Doom Resurrection. And again, we've got all of our you know, great stuff where we're lighting things with radiosity and uh, you know, bringing in all of this detail with the stamping and everything that we've got here. And this is just my technology demo. We're in the process of pulling this into a, uh, a game framework. But uh, you know, this, was one of, this was one of my great points where I'm able to just kind of go in and do something, really leverage all of my skills, come in and just leave a lot of people going, huh, what, how? <laughs> but then I get to turn it over to other people to go ahead and go through all the real hard work of actually turning it into a full-fledged game. But there's my little demo there, which I was kind of proud of. <laughs> And so you can imagine things like this going, I, as you look towards the industry in future years, the idea that, yeah, I just pulled out of my pocket the machine there that, you know, I could kill anything on a previous generation console, like an Xbox or a, a, you know, a PS2 or something on the hardware that's there. It's not as powerful as a current generation, but it's not all that far off, where you're basically looking at something with vertex and fragment shaders, 512 megabytes of memory, uh, pretty good storage on there. And you, know, you can imagine coming up and playing some things, plugging in, playing on the big screen or on the small screen on there. It still lacks tactile feedback and a bunch of different things there, but it's an interesting 